Hello, this is Benga Adiko of Newgate. We have a great interview for you today. She was introduced to the Newgate through our Michigan Research Connections, Dr. Peter Washaba at Wayne State University, as well as Dr. Sandra Molly Krishnan of University of Michigan, uh, where there, she was then recommended to see one of our longstanding Newgate using clinicians down in Canton with the University of Michigan Medicine, Alyssa Portelli. This is a really great story of Deb Madonna. Before we get started, could you please state your name and then your diagnosis or why you're using the new gate? It's Deborah Madonna. Nine years ago, I had a left-sided stroke. It was just a small spot in the basal ganglia down in the thalamus. And I was out for several days. Luckily, my bleeding stopped in my brain, so I didn't have further and then I could kind of woke up. I was in the hospital about a month. Once they stabilized me and then to therapy. And I worked in that hospital as an educator. So I was real comfortable with this. And I still have aphasia and ataxia. That's the primary function. I do have neuropathy on my entire right side. And I'm right-handed, so I don't write real well with that. But I adapt to typing. And that was osteoporosis, head to foot. So now I'm dealing with that. And that also was part of the issue with uh, going into the new gate because I've got to get my posture back and I don't have a lot of strength. I used to be able to sit up. So I'm almost starting therapy all over again to be able to do a lot of basic things. Tell me a little bit more about how you learned about the new gate. I think that U of them contacted me first and their doctor is the one that running a lot of these research projects. I got another call from Peter at Wayne State. And what was interesting, he mentioned the new gate at the very end of all the other stuff we were doing. And I was just so impressed because they hooked me up and I took a step and I wasn't dragging. It did make me cry. It was the first time that my right leg was part of the walking because I can hear it all the time when I'm walking and, you know, scraping it. I should have thought of myself, it's foot drop. I also was using the vibrational pad and for the first time, I had feeling in my right leg all the way up, which I haven't. When I was walking, I only had like a thin pad that I could feel on my foot. So I had to do a lot of thinking. The sensation is tingling, but not painful. So I can actually feel which where the uh, muscles are moving, uh, both in my arm and my leg. Who would think that eight years, nine years, however long it's been, there could be improvement. Thank you for sharing that. I'm really interested to hear how the, the sessions went with Alyssa and how the Newgate was incorporated into your sessions. Well, in particular, we did use the Newgate pieces uh, quite a few times, sometimes just parts, sometimes the whole body and doing different exercises while we're in the Newgate. You know, when you're really weak after you have a stroke, I'm almost at I'm not that bad, but starting with those kind of exercises and then using the gate was a big, tremendous help. 